This video is brought to you by ProBoxingSupplies.com where you can receive 25% off your purchase now. And PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazar at MMAInterviews.tv alongside Mike Brown. You just had an impressive performance against Daniel Pineda here at UFC 146. How are you feeling? Is that how you expected sort of the fight to go? Tough kid. Yeah, I mean, it, it was expected. I thought... I didn't know if it was going to go the distance. I thought one of us might go down before that because, you know, uh, I finish a lot of opponents and so does he. And we both come out guns blazing. And uh, I thought somebody might go down early. I didn't know who it was going to be. But uh, we both hung in there. And uh, I did go the distance. But uh, he's a tough kid and it was a good fight. He catch you pretty pretty good early on, seemed like, and then you got the you got that takedown was a big I thought big in the, in the very opening of the first round. Yeah, I wasn't. I knew it was like we were in a little bit of a we. Was, I was in the midst of a combination there. He was through a combination. I'm not sure exactly what I got hit with, but I know I got wobbled and hurt. I guess it was a knee or a kick. Somebody told me, but uh, I, I was a little dazed for sure. Yeah. And then you were able to persevere. Obviously, work your magic on the ground. I talk about that knee that you hit him with, I guess, before that as well, to drop him in the third, to really change things and, and put that third round in your in your favor. Yeah, I think if I I, I don't know if I won in the third round or not, but because I lost one round, but I don't know which one. But yeah, I, I earlier on I hit him with a series of knees, some, and I knew it slowed him down, and then I went back to it later on in the third and. He dropped, and then I was, was head hunting, and then I'm like, "Oh no, go to the body!" And then, but he did a good job of tying me up when with the ground and pound. I couldn't really get good leverage in it, and he actually even hit me with a good elbow from his from his back and cut me open pretty good. So uh, he's a tough dude, and I like the kid. He's a very respectful young kid. Well, talked about retirement here, and you you were contemplating it, but you said you feel good out there. We can't see you go like this. So it was a great performance. Yeah, it's something I got to think about and talk with my family. But you know, I didn't, I, I didn't want to say, you know, I didn't say anything to anybody. It was just kind of overheard me talking with my coaches because that was going to be my plan. Had I lost or had I not felt good, I was going to be uh, exiting the game just because. Uh, Around the time period when I was struggling, I was ha having some health issues where I don't know what it was, but I was really hitting a wall in fights early on for no reason, man. I didn't. I was training hard, and I was just my body was shutting down, and I couldn't figure it out why. But what blows my mind is uh, I just grew out of it or something, you know. I, I did change some things up. I'm doing so, more strength conditioning over at uh, IHP. And uh, that might be the, the, the secret or the, the answer for me. I'm, and I'm with a new, new nutrition company, Top Secret Nutrition. I don't know if it's that or what it is, but, man, something has changed. And uh, I feel really good. Even if I lose and feel good, it's fun. Yeah. So I'm having fun again. Well, your body looked good out there. And, and you know, talk about that's two in a row, right? Yeah. So you want to go forward. I mean, two more wins, three more wins. You could be back in the hunt for a title here. That's what it's about, putting a string together. And uh, starts with one, and now I'm at two. And now you start thinking, you know, making making movements, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm headed in the right direction, that's for sure. Yeah, especially in the division where there's no clear cut, number one contender for Aldo. I mean, who, who do you think he should be fighting next? There's a clear cut champion right now, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's tough to figure out who's number two. Um, it's, it's not me, but I'm hopefully climbing up to that that mark. Yeah. You think a fight with Hioki or one of these guys that, that are up there, you'd really want to fight like that to get you right there, closer to that spot? Yeah, I mean, it's time for me to get off the Facebook and get on TV maybe and uh, get some b bigger name fights and, and uh, move in that direction. Okay, appreciate the time. Mike Brown, Victorious here at UFC 146. This video is brought to you by Boss Rutan's O2 Trainer and Fight Me, a fearless expression. What are you willing to fight for? Godspeed and party on.